Next thing I want to talk about is occlusion volumes. Um, as we mentioned, we knew very early on that we wanted this to be more like spookier on the, the, the side of the spectrum of scary things. Mm -hmm. um, and something that we did a lot in the base game is, you know, when you enter a cave, we sort of surreptitiously like turn down the ambient light so that it goes to pitch black. Um, but because the ring world is populated by all these tiny little buildings, um, it felt very strange um, to like walk in here and, you know, the ambient lights down. So you turn around and like the world is dark. Um, it was really just like kind of immersion breaking. Um, so what we did is we created a new solution, uh, which we call occlusion volumes, which is basically just an arbitrary volume. Um, we can make meshes of any type. Uh, and in that area, all mesh renders have their occlusion set to a value. Um, so in most places it's one, but we can also make like, you know, less opaque uh, numbers. Um, so basically that allows us to have this where, you know, from the outside you have this dark spooky interior and then meanwhile while you're in here um, you can still see the light outside um, this may not seem that special because a lot of like triple a games have baked lighting um, where you know they do these like fancy you know you know textures that have all the shadow information so you get this sort of stuff but because outer wilds is a game you shouldn't try to make um, everything is moving all the time we have no static object and we can't bake lighting mm -hmm. um, so we created the solution to sort of again, like catch up to like normal video game stuff uh, in our own special way. Um, so I'll, uh, another cool part about this um, that makes it feel a lot more natural is we have occlusion lights, uh, which are basically the negative space for an occlusion volume. Mm -hmm. um, so you can see here, the ambient light is like spilling through the building. Um, that's basically like a light that we create and we put a cookie on it and it reveals only ambient light. So you can see my flashlight still overwrites it like any direct light would. Um, nice. But when it's just ambient, it has this nice fall off and it fades over distance. Um, and we That's can kind make of those. Fake. Yes, exactly. Right. Um, and we can make those arbitrary shapes. So in some places we have it like going through holes in the wall or something like that. Um, and we just bake those out individually. Um, so I can show another example of this over here. So this building has an occlusion volume that's not set to one. So you can see there's still a little bit of light spilling through here. Um, and then the lower layer has a different occlusion volume. Um, where it like blends up through the stairwell so you can see some of the light spilling through from below. Yeah. So we use these all over the place, basically everywhere where we could. Um, we have these, so there's like one in the cave down here um, to make it darker from a distance. Uh, it's just, you know, really helps to sell like the horror vibe of like, you, you see this spooky shack and you're like, what's inside? I can't see. I don't want to go in there. And so this is not to be confused with like a fog measure, like a or anything like that, right? You're just you're speaking to the AO values, right? Correct. Yeah. So if I go in the scene here, we can take a look at it. So I think I'm looking at this building. So you can see in the hierarchy here, we just have occlusion effects. If I open that up, um, so you can see there's an occlusion volume that's just the shape of this building. Uh, I'll make it bigger so you can see a little more clearly. Um, this one is separate for the entryway. Uh, we did that so that there's like some light spilling in the entryway here. Um, and it's like at a half value and then the, the, the deeper parts of the building go to like pitch black. Um, turn off my gizmos so it's a little more clear. Um, and you know, we have the occlusion light. So like the bright light from the outside spills into the doorway and mm. then the dim light from here spills into the pitch black area. So it helps to mask that transition. Um, so yeah, these are just, they're just meshes, um, you know, super simple, um, but they just basically turn the AO on for those objects. Uh, and that sort of stacks with like screen space AO and stuff like that uh, as well. Um, so the light, you can see the one that's in the door. Uh, if I just like move this around, you can see it's just like a cutout um, that basically affects that and we can yeah. change the opacity there. And it just has a cookie that we baked from the shape of the door. Um, so. It's a system that's just like really robust and I was super happy to have it because I always wanted to do stuff like this in the base game. So we made a lot of use for it uh, in the DLC.